First question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hey, Luke. First, just wanted to ask, I mean, the process of getting called up, being in the game, how quickly did things happen for you? Very quickly. Um, I think about 20 to 25 minutes before the ring ceremony, I was told. And so everything was kind of a rush to get ready and get out there and, you know, inform the people that I had to inform. So. And what was it like making your debut? I mean, were you nervous? What was going through your head? Yeah, I was, I was definitely nervous. Um, just because of excitement, I guess. Um, it's something you've, I've dreamed about since I was, you know, growing up playing baseball and to finally make those dreams a reality was very surreal. Well, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Next question is from JP Hornstra. Go ahead, JP. Well, Luke, when you found out and you said you informed all the people that you had to inform, who was your first call to yesterday afternoon? My first call was to my mom. So my mom and I have a really, really good relationship. My mom has helped me every step of the way. And she, she had to be my first call. So what's her name? Her name is Beth. Beth really? Yes. Okay. And um, I wanted to ask you about your experience at the alternate site last year. Uh, what do you think you got out of that? And was there anything that you feel like you missed because you didn't have a minor league season? Yeah. Um, the alternate site was, you know, the best option we had, but it wasn't a season. We didn't get to play as much, missed out on a lot of at bats, a lot of other things that you get throughout the season, you know, the wear and tear in your body, how to take care of it, stuff like that. It, it was definitely, um, it, it stunk not being able to play last year. Last one for me. I, I know you missed time a couple of years ago with an ankle injury. Like how serious was that? And, and are you fully past it? When did you fully get past that yeah I think I got hurt in May of 2019 and I was back and playing by September um it was serious I had surgery I uh, dislocated my perineal tendon so I just had to get it sutured back in place let it heal but it's good I haven't had any issues with it since cool. thank you and congrats on your debut thank you next question is from Mike DiGiovanna go ahead Luke, just want to clarify, where exactly were you when you found out you were going to be activated? What was that? Where were you? Where exactly was that? Were you when you found out you were activated? Uh, I, I, was, um, I was here. They uh, had me stay back just in case something like that did happen with uh, Cody, and they had to put him on the um, IL. So I was here. I had, you know, gone out and done defense and lifted. And, uh, yeah, I was just sitting in the locker room, and they came in and got me and told me. And was it – were you able to enjoy the ceremony, or were you feeling kind of nervous about making your debut as well? Uh, no, I definitely enjoyed the moment. It was – you know, I've always been told to take a step back and really take it in, and that's what I did. So, um I definitely enjoyed the moment. I was nervous to, to the point where I, it was just excitement, really. It was a lot of excitement. And, you know, I wanted to go out there and help the team if I could and do whatever I can to help the Dodgers win. Thanks. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Luke, when you're um, playing in spring training, could you, could you have imagined that by April 10th you'd be part of the major league team? No, I can't say that I did. You know, I I knew I wasn't far off, but you know, something had to happen, which which isn't anything you obviously root for. So, um, I didn't expect it to be so quick. Uh, I I'm I'm happy to be here though. How wild have these last kind of three years been? I mean, you're drafted by this team, obviously you know, went somewhere else, came back, and now to make your major league debut with this team I mean could you have ever kind of imagined this sort of full circle situation yeah it, it it's been a crazy three years so I was um I was devastated when I got traded and it was nothing against the twins I just loved the Dodgers organization so much and then I went over there and I uh loved that organization too so it was it was a back and forth thing and 
you know, it, it's just, uh, it's, it was weird to get traded away from the Dodgers and come back here and see all the familiar faces and everything like that. But I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy to debut a Dodger. It's, it's a great organization. Thanks, Gordon. Thank you. Time for one more. Go ahead, Eric. Luke, uh, just wondering, what's life like on the taxi squad? You went on the road trip. Uh, what are you able to do? Like, where did you watch the games from? Uh, we watch the games from inside the clubhouse. Um, it, it all depends on the location. Like, I know in, in Colorado, we got to go out and, you know, shag BP, do defensive work. And then during the game, we try to get as many swings in as we can. And then, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. We just try to stay ready as best you can. Thanks. Thank Actually, you. I have one more. Go ahead, Rowan. Hey, Luke. Actually, I just wanted to ask: Do you guys in that 2016 draft class ever talk about just how much talent you guys had and how kind of crazy it is? How far you all have come so far? Yeah, it comes up every now and then. We, it, it's funny. I, I actually last night was sitting there thinking about it, and I'm like, wow. That, that draft class has had some – I mean, there's a lot of good talent here and other places from that draft class, and it, it's, it's a really cool thing to see and to be a part of. Thank you.